Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to change the oil on the Jetta. 414,194 miles on it and we are overdue on an oil change. So we're going to be using this heavy duty protection AMSOIL diesel oil. Uh, 5W30 is what it calls for. So we've got five quarts. We've got a new filter for the oil, of course, and then we've got a uh, Wix air filter for it as well. Next time we change the oil on this, it's going to be about 426,000 miles. So just want to keep us going through the track to 500,000. Remove the small engine cover caps. That one's missing. Three 10 millimeter bolts. Typically speaking, this one's missing the top one again. Engine cover comes off, potentially. All right, so to get the oil cap off, I just use a 74 millimeter to 76 millimeter filter wrench. This is made by HyperTuff. I don't tighten it up a whole lot, but I still need to use it to get the cap off sometimes. So definitely comes in handy. So that's after about 15,000 miles. That Wix filter holds up good. Alright, for a filter up top, we're using an HU726 man filter. We've got our seals. Alright, so we'll go ahead and install our new filter. Shallow end on the bottom, deeper end on the top. You can tell by putting your finger in. <clears throat> then we've got our new seals. Make sure to put those on. Even though it may not be necessary to replace these little seals, you might as well because through the heat cycles, they just tend to wear down. And there's no reason to have a leak, especially if you've already got them with the filter change. So there we go. We're going to put just a little oil around that. And now we'll do our big seal. And there we go. That's all there is to it. All right, when we put the oil cap on, it doesn't have to be over tight. Most times you should be able to get this off without using a uh, cap wrench. And there we go. jack stand along with a 3,000 pound Pittsburgh jack underneath of it yeah, and I'm just gonna drain the oil just like any other car all right now that the oil plugs in we're gonna go ahead and lower down the car okay now let's fill our oil So 
Signature Series, Amsoil 100% synthetic. This is what we've always run in the Jetta. And so once you've run this, you really don't want to switch it up. That can cause engine problems. So run with what you've been running. If you're using conventional oil though, and you want to switch to this, that would be a, in my opinion, which may not matter, but that would be a, a good decision. Two, three, four, and five. Oil cap's been wiped off, going back on. All right, so oil cap covers on, uh, oil filter covers on, <clears throat> five quarts of oil in the system. We're gonna put our engine cover back on, so let's take the dipstick out. Dipstick's going back in, and now we'll do our Wix air filter, 42472. All right, so to get the air filter off these MK4s, there's two Phillips, and it'll come right off. Inside looks nice and clean. Underneath, not so much. Definitely time to replace. As you can tell, we have lots of bugs out here, lots of insects living out here on the country roads. All right, let's pick out the big chunks. There's part of an acorn in there. It's all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get the air filter in. All right, the other camera went dead, but we got the air filter box on. Um, everything's buttoned up, all the oil's inside of it, so we'll go ahead and give it a start. <laughs> 